Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is bitwise and of numbers range. So in this question, we are given two integers, left and right, which represents the left bound and right bound of a range where both are inclusive. So our task is to return the bitwise and of all the numbers in this range inclusive. So coming to the and operators logic table, here if you see x and y's table are given. If you take x and y, only when x and y are both 1, the output of x and y is going to be 1. If either of them is a 0, it will be 0 and obviously zeros will give you a 0. So now let's take this example and see how we can solve this question. So let's take the first example, left is equal to 5 and right is equal to 7, right? So the brute force approach which comes into your mind is that you convert all the numbers within this range into its binary format. So the range is 5, 6, 7, both inclusive and you loop through the array and you take the AND for the adjacent operators and finally you will get a binary number and that number if you convert it you will get your output. But if you take this case, if you take the range between 1 through 2 power 31 minus 1, you have to iterate these many number of times. So this approach will fail. So you have to think of a different approach. So let's see. So let's take the first example and write these numbers in its binary format. So this is the standard way how you write uh, binary formats. So for 5 where you have to set the bits which sum up to 5. So 4 plus 1 is 5. So rest of them are zeros. And write is 7 right. So in between there is 6. So for 6 it is going to be you set this and this to 1 rest are zeros. Next you have 7 which is right. So for 7 you set these 3 to 1 and rest are zeros. And we have to perform the bitwise AND operator, right? So for bitwise AND, like we saw, if x and y, and we need to find x and y, right? So 0, 0 will give you 0, 0, 1 will give you 0, 1, 0 will give you 0, and 1, 1 will give you 1. So let's do the bitwise AND for all these. Everything is 0, it is a 0. Everything is 0, it is a 0, 0, 0. Everything is 1, it is a 1. Here there is a 0 and rest are 1s, but once you get a 0, it will become 0. Here also, these two are 1s and this is a 0. So, entire thing becomes 0. So, this constitutes to 4, right? Because 4th bit is set to 1. So, this will become 4. So, 4 is your output. So, how are you getting 4? You are taking the common part of all the numbers involved. So, find the common part. This row is common. 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 This, is, common. this is not common for all because there is a 0 here and these two are 1s. So we can't say this is a common column. So until here, it's a common column. So you find this, it is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So the common number is 1. So this is equal to 1, right? This is 1. So the common number is 1. So instead of finding all the numbers in this range, you only have to check these two numbers because anyhow, if one of the bits is 0, if I, then the entire thing is 0. So how do you find the common one among all? So let me write this again. So let's take L is equal to 5, 1 here and 1 here, rest of all are zeros. And take the right. We don't need the uh, numbers in between. We only take left and right. So right is equal to 7. So 7 is these three are 1 and rest of all are zeros. So we see this is the common row, right? Which is set to 1. So how do you check? You keep eliminating the last rows. Do right shift and do right shift so this row will come here so we right shift both left and right simultaneously in a single loop so after right shifting this last row becomes zero so this row goes here so this row will get eliminated and this will come to one so this will become zero one and this will become one one and rest are zeros so what is the value this is the second row right so the value of this is two and the value of this is three now we check if both these numbers are same. No, both are not same. So again we do right shift. So after right shifting, this row will eliminate. And you get 1 here and 1 here and rest are zeros. So what is this number? This is 1 and this is 1. So these both are same, right? So how many operations you did? You did 1 operation here and you did 1 operation here. So total there are 2 shifts. So total 2 shift operations you made to make left and right the same. Both are 1. And now we know left and right are same, right? Take any of the numbers. I take uh, left is equal to 1. And this is the number of shift. Shift is equal to 2. So I make 2 left shifts on left to get my answer. So this 1 will move here. So this will become 1 and these all become 0. So which column is this? It is the 4th column. So L will become 4. So after doing 2 left shift, L now has the 
fourth bit set so the value of l is equal to 4 so 4 will be your output now let's do the same by taking one more example so we need 9 right so we have to set this and this to 1 rest are zeros now we need 10 so set this and set this to 1 rest are zeros we need 11 so set this and set these two votes to 1 rest are zeros we need 12 so set this and this to 1 rest are zeros and what is the common part among all till here we have the common part so that will be your output right so this is 1 and rest of all are zeros so which bit is 1 it is 8 so add that so 8 will be your output for this example so how do you do that you keep on doing right shift until you get this row so you take left and right only and you don't have to consider all of them you take the left bound and the right bound and uh, apply this operation on that left and right you have 9 and 12 so after doing right shift once so let me write this again so you keep on doing right shift until both left and right are same and then you count the number of shifts and then do a left shift on either left or right so let's do a right shift so this row will be eliminated and all the rows will come one uh, step to the right so this will become zero this one will come to its right and this is zero and this is zero we do right shift again this one will come here and this one will come here this will come here so what are these values this is equal to four because four bits is set this is four plus two is equal to six now both left and right are not same so do the same operation you have to shift again so after shifting you get and for this you get what are these values this is two and this is three both are not same again so do shift again so after shifting this will become one and this will also become one so this is one and this is one both left and right are same so how many operations you did so initially one was here now it became here so you did one two and three so total you did three shift operations and apply these shift operations on on either left or right i'll do on left so take this so this will be shifted three steps to its left so after shifting three steps to its left one will become here and the rest of them to the right are zeros so now what is this entire row it is equal to 8 bit is set so this entire row is equal to 8 so 8 was your output for this question now let's take a look at the code coming to the function given to us this is the function name and these are the two integers left and right given to us as inputs and our task is to return an integer as our output representing the and of all the numbers in this range so let us start by creating a variable i'm going to call it shifts which is initially zero so this variable is used to count the number of shifts we are making that is first the right shifts so we do right shifts for the left and right variables given to us until they both are equal once so once left and right are equal this loop will break and inside this loop first we have to start with by right shifting the left integer by one and storing it inside left itself let's do the same for right we are right shifting right by one and storing it inside right itself and now we are incrementing the shift variable because this is one shift and then we do the same until the left and right are same so once this while loop ends it means both left and right are same so let's take one of those left or right and left shift shifts number of times so now let's create our output variable i'm going to name it result and i'm picking the left variable now you can either do left or right because both are same you can pick either of them and now i have to do left shift so this is the left shift operator how many number of time you have to do it for shifts number of time and now we can return our result now let's try to run the code the test cases are being accepted let's submit the code and our solution has been accepted so the time complexity of this approach is of one because there'll be fixed number of bits which have which we are shifting so for every integer there'll be fixed number of bits so this loop is going to iterate for constant number of times so the time complexity is o of 1 the space complexity is o of 1 too because we are not using any extra space to solve this question except a few variables that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video